one more time with Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Guys, we are in the kitchen today. I want to give you a real Jamaican dish. What we're talking about, like some fried up sawfish served with some banana and caramel dumpling. I did the recipe before, but sometimes, you know, I like to do things. Again, to remind us that, you know what I mean, we Jamaican preserve one of the best ever, ever food in this world. When you're talking about some fried up sawfish, um, basically I get some sawfish and it's very easy guys, I will just explain it to you. I got a lot of videos on my YouTube channel telling you how to cook sawfish. Enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the channel and please leave your comments. See you next time. Love you. So Bye -bye. right here I have all of my veg. I got some white onion and some mixed pepper and a whole of tomato which I'm already cut up. I'm using half of the sweet peppers and half of a white onion. This is the white onion. Right over here in this bowl, this is the saltfish right here guys. Basically I want to explain to you what you think the saltfish look this kind of way, a little bit picked up like this. First of all, if you go to any local shop, supermarket, get a pack of saltfish, the boneless one, and all you need to do is just to boil it off for roughly about 10, 10 to 15 minutes into some boiling water, or you can put it to soak for 24 hours, and then you break it up fine, just like this. Guys, it's very easy and simple, as I said, spring onion, Mixed pepper, white onion, and some chopped tomato. All of my veggies right here, as you can see them. I have even my Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper, fresh thyme, and all those bits and pieces. You can do the same thing at home, because I know that everywhere in this world you can find peppers, saltfish, and mix white onion and these bits and pieces. So guys, I'm going to show you to fry it off. And that's the key point, is to how oh, you're going to fry it off and make it look nice inside of the pot. So look at this now, guys. Lovely and nice. Right here I have a frying pan where I'm gonna fry all of my veg and stuff in. I got it more roughly about four to five minutes now to be honest guys. I'm getting it hot. This is really hot at the moment. I'm gonna pop a tablespoon of olive oil or you can use vegetable oil inside of it. Just like that guys. And I'm simple saying to you, my frying pan is on about probably about four or five minutes now. It's pretty hot. Get your frying pan hot. That's one of the key points after you do all of your veg. Then first of all, what I'm going to simply do is to put in all of my veg inside of it like this. Be careful. So you need a fry, lovely and nice. And I got it on a medium size heat. Lovely. So as you can see, because it's a fresh time, I'm give it a little stir. So we're gonna allow this to fry up for about four to five minutes until the veg cook. Right over here, I have some dumpling and banana which is cooking in the meantime. As you can see, this is almost finished now. That's looking lovely over here. Right here is the saltfish. The season for the saltfish. Nice one guys, as I can see. The veg is finished now. So basically all I need to do is to add my saltfish. Just like that. Put a nice lovely Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper inside of it. Get some flavor and now let me put in the next put a little bit of coarse pepper that's coarse peppers um, next and simple add a little bit of ketchup make a stir some people might have said, oh, chef, what kind of guy use so much ketchup for your top chef? No, you want your food to taste nice, you have to add ingredients. So all I'm going to do is just allow this to cook for another 3 to 4 more minutes. And then we're going to share it out. Nice and lovely. So now this is finished. We're going to simply share it out, guys. Looking lovely and nice. As you can see, 
beautiful really really nice guys and hopefully this will be a benefit to you and your family as you can see subscribe to the youtube channel and please leave your comments thank you so much for watching chef for cutter cooking program we've got a lot more recipes coming out just like this soft fish with dumpling and green boiled banana enjoy the recipe and lovely guys as I can see I just share two banana two dumpling and now I'm gonna simple shoot that lovely salt fish right in the center right here look at that guys beautiful really nice really really nice put the Jamaican scotch on the pepper right on top of it so guys enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel comments thank you so much for watching chef record cooking program we got a lot more recipe like this coming up for you guys as i can see looking so lovely and nice banana and dumpling serving salt fish fried up salt fish one more time on the menu can't too much guys every day we learn something new we have to do it and we have to share it i have to make you guys know what's going on so it's a lovely recipe and hopefully it'll be a benefit to you guys Subscribe to the channel and please leave your comments. See you next time. Bye-bye.